So yesterday, I forgot a couple of things, so I figured I'd say them real quick now and let you get on with your three-day weekend. First, um, of course, it's Martin Luther King weekend for you guys that are off on Monday. I know you're happy. you got a nice long weekend. Be safe. Take care of yourself. And this is a time to reflect on the things that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did for all of us, how he got things started for civil rights. So be sure and talk to your children about it. Inform your younger children who never heard of him. Maybe watch some movies in reference to him or tell them some stories, read a book to them. This is some time now for us to reflect back on our history and a man who made us have a better life. I often wonder what it would be like if Dr. King was alive now where there's Twitter and there's Facebook and there's Snapchat and there's Periscope. It would be so funny to see how it would be such a mass of people that would really be involved in following him. And I think that we would also be a lot um, closer and more united as a people had he'd been around during this time because of social media. Um, I want to go back to uh, the nominations also for uh, the Oscars. And Straight Outta Compton was actually not nominated. Uh, I think it's a shame that there was a category. There were no actors nominated, but the, the category uh, for the writers uh, was nominated. There are no black people nominated for the Oscars this year. Uh, I'm, I'm really surprised about that. Star Wars also um, was not nominated. But again, Remnant with Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, good luck to you. And I kind of hope you don't win because I don't want your movies to get bad. Usually after they win the uh, Oscars, all the movies are no good after that, that, that they take. I don't know what happens, like a curse or something. Chipotle is shutting down on February 8th to teach all employees nationwide about food safety. This is something uh, that's happened because uh, all the, uh, many Chipotle restaurants, uh, the customers uh, were sickened with salmonella poisoning. And it was such a bad thing that they had to shut the stores down. And now they're going to shut all of them down nationwide February 8th to give uh, safety instructions to your employees. Uh, myself, won't you get me once, I hear about your salmonella problems and things like that. I don't go back to it. The same thing how I felt with Bluebell ice cream once they got the salmonella, even though when they went back on the shelves, I'm no longer interested. If you want something good, if you're in a city where they have Chick-fil-A, that's what you buy. They have the best chicken you will ever eat in your entire life, including your own fried chicken. Uh, they have baked chicken, fried chicken, barbecue chicken. Uh, they have great salads, great sandwiches. Chick-fil-A is great. In New York, in my home, they just opened up uh, a Chick-fil-A. The line was around the corner. A girlfriend of mine went and myself went, and it was double lined around the corner there were at least a hundred people in front of us and to tell you the truth the line was we were ha, had our food in our hands no longer than five minutes they move fast the employees are great they're professional the food is wonderful and that's where you need to go chick-fil-a okay um bernie saunders is my who i will be voting for uh for the primaries and that's who i'm going to vote for i told you before i'm not interested in hillary clinton i just don't like her after what she said about uh, Obama, and when they were running against one another, I just, I didn't like her. And uh, I just don't feel that she fits what my, what I feel for politics. So I'm going with Bernie Sanders if I have to vote for anyone. Uh, if you guys watch the have and the have nots, Tyler Perry's doing a great job uh, this season. If you've seen it in the past, you loved it, I'm sure. So now it's even juicier. That's the word for it. Juicy. Tune in. Watch it. Thanks, Tyler Perry. Very good. Growing up, uh, hip hop uh, is a new pro a new a reality show with uh, Angela Simmons, uh, Reverend Run's daughter, Damon's son, Damon Dash's son, DeBarge's daughter, and Romeo Miller, which is Master P's son. Uh, for me, it wasn't. Uh, I, I had to check it out just to see how it was going to be. I didn't enjoy it uh, at all. Maybe it's for a younger generation. So for you youngsters, you youngins, you'll probably like it. The toxic water in Flint, Michigan has really turned into a disastrous situation to where the, pres uh, the, pr uh, the mayor of Flint has asked for an emergency uh, for uh, the city of Flint, Michigan because of their toxic water. Instead of using the Detroit reservoirs, which has the best water from Lake Michigan, uh, they cut corners and decided to go with their water from the Flint Lake 
river uh, and rivers and the water was completely filled with lead now because of it uh, the children that have been drinking that water will have some type of permanent mental problems uh, this is a, a, a emergency for the president to step in and try and see what they can do they have asked for the president to assist them uh, Real Housewives of Potomac is coming out. I uh, have a sister that lives in Potomac, uh, so you'll enjoy this program. These are the rich black girls. Uh, Potomac is one of the uh, richest counties in the United States besides for Westchester. Uh, this is, again, uh, Martin Luther King Day. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. And thank you for coming to the Amber Shows. Just come on YouTube and look at um, movies. Go to Movie Star AL and you'll find me. And look at some of my shows. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to join me on Periscope as well. And you guys have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend, you guys, and happy Martin Luther King Day. Think of him. Give praise to him because doing that keeps his spirit alive. Love you guys.